Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd do a pink and green look today using Starling Girl products because, yeah, I just got this new shade in and it is called Prenatal Cigarettes. Oh my god, I am in love with this shade and I think I'm going to have to get full size because it is like the prettiest pink with like a green sheen. We'll see if you can see that. It's probably not going to show really well, but I will swatch it. But yeah, it's so freaking pretty. I don't know if it's going to show the awesome shift or all the awesome sparkles, but yeah, they're there. And if you do not have this color, then I highly suggest that you check it out because it is just gorgeous. But yeah, um... Also, in other news, I am having a giveaway on my Facebook page, if you didn't hear about it. Um, giving away some indie stuff and also some non-indie stuff. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in entering to win awesome things, then you should go enter. I will leave the link to it down below. And, yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this look, then just keep okay, watching. Okay, so first thing I'm going to be doing is taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and just placing it on my lid. I don't want too much because then it will crease like crazy even though I am wearing primer. So I'm just going to get that all over my now lid. Now I'm going to be going into Darling Girl's Life is a Beach. Or Life's a Beach. It's this really pretty matte pink shade. I think it's been discontinued though, so not sure. If it's still available, it will be in the um, matte I'd like to find collection, I believe. So what I'm going to do with this shade is I'm just going to put it all over my lid. I really want to pack it on. It's going to be a base shadow. And then I'm going to just kind of blend it up a little bit into the crease. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush and just blending that line out. Like that. And then I'm going to go back into that color and darken up the crease a bit more, kind of bring it up a little bit higher, and then blend it out again. Alright, now I'm going to be taking Glamour Doll Eyes' Glitter Fix and <clears throat> just getting a little bit of that on my finger and putting it on, actually I'm just going to put it all over my lid, just really gently, <clears throat> really gently put it on because it will take the shadow off. So I'm just kind of pouncing it on. Wait for that to get just a little bit more tacky. Then I'm going to be going into the shade Prenatal Cigarettes from Darling Girl. Okay. 
and I'm going to be placing this one on the inner and the inner and outer portions of the lid. Oh my god, I so love this color. It is absolutely freaking amazing. Like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it has like a really awesome like greenish kind of sheen and like tons of green sparkles. Okay. Next shade I'm going to be going into is uh, He Slimed Me from Darling Girl. One of my favorite greens. And this one is going in the center of my lid. that and then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used to place the prenatal cigarettes and just kind of blend the edges of that like so. Now I'm going to be placing like a little bit of glitter there, not a whole lot, just a little bit because I thought this glitter would look awesome with this look so. I'm going to be using Lit's Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and I'm just going to be picking it up with my finger just kind of just a little bit and then tapping that where over top the he slimed me and then I'm going to be picking up a little bit of their glitter in green machine which is this really pretty lime green awesome glitter and then tapping that over the center And I just got glitter all over my face. Yay. It's totally what I was going for. <laughs> okay, anyways. Next step would be um, lower lash line. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to be taking a pink liner. And this one is Wet n Wild's Fergie X Stacy. Which is this really pretty hot pink liner and I'm going to be putting that on the inner part leaving a space open in the middle and then putting it on the outer part going to be bringing it up just a little bit then I'm going to very gently blend that and then go back into that pink shade that we used on the lids or lid river and then just go over and I'm not worried about this right now because after I do my wing I'm going to wipe it with a makeup wipe to make it look almost like a double wing so yeah but you can do whatever you want Okay, and then in the center part, I'm going to be putting the, eh, I'm going to be putting the, um, he slimed me there. Okay, and then I'm going to be blending the edges of that into the pink shade and then for the inner corner I'm going to be putting he slimed me there and then picking up another shade it doesn't have to be then I'm going to be picking up dirty limerick which has been discontinued unfortunately 
because this is a really awesome like it's like a sheer type green but it has the most amazing like a blue shift I don't know it's gorgeous I don't know if it's going to pick it up but yeah so freaking and pretty. that one's just going over top the dirty limerick in the inner corner and I'm also going to be dabbing it over the center and the lower lash line area like that and then I'm gonna go back in with the brush I used for the pink and make sure that's blended okay for my top liner I'm going to be using a liquid liner and this one is insanely intense tattooed waterproof eyeliner from scone and jet black I got this in my ipsy bag and it's actually a really good liner I really like it that now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just kind of get rid of that excess pink but I'm going to be leaving a little bit there so it'll look like it's just like one big wing if you can see that like that Alright, and now for mascara, I'm going to be using my favorite perversion from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to be using uh, Urban Decay Zero for the waterline. Alright, that's it for the eyeballs. Let's move on to the rest of the face. Okay, for blush, I'm going to be using the 7777 blush from the Friends Central Collection. And it is this very really pretty corally peachy blush. It's super, super bright. Oh my god. Like... This blush is insanely pigmented, you guys. And I'm probably totally just gonna get it everywhere. It's probably going to be way brighter than I wanted it to be, but you know what? That's fine. I can just tone it down. Okay, it's not so bad. I am still going to have to blend it out, but you know. It's so pretty. It's like a neon, neon-y color. Okay, and for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Shimmering Pearl Lumos highlighter, the cream highlighters, and this one is in the shade Orion like the peachy shade with the green shift. This one is probably my favorite. So I just, she has new uh, packaging for these now, but uh, It matches the theme of my eyes. I have pink blush and green highlight. How awesome okay, is that? Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using the LA Girls Glazed Lip Paint and the shade Seduce. And I'm just going to be getting that on a lip brush. Okay, 
And there you have it. That is the final look. You zoom in on the bubbles. Super pretty pink and green sparkly awesomeness. I'm not sure why, but it kind of reminds me of Galaxy-ish, even though mostly like purples and blues and stuff remind me of Galaxy. I don't know. I think it may be the sparkles. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.